everybody. This next pattern is called Peacock Creeper. Now it's real easy to tie, not a whole lot of components to it. I'll explain the materials as I go, put the recipe in the description. So I've got a size 14 scud hook in there, that's 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. Now I'm going to put some 015 wire wraps on it. Not a lot, just, just enough to help secure that bead. So about four wraps right here is going to be fine. So just cram those up into your, your bead there. Watch the pointy end of that. Now I'm using UTC, black UTC 70 denier, about an 8 alt equivalent. So put a little dam behind that, a couple wraps up here help secure that. You don't have to worry about a taper between those wraps and your hook. It's going to be covered with some hurl in just a second. Mm -hmm. So bring your base back well past the, the bend, even past where the barb would be if this was a barbed hook. Now take two strands of peacock curl, break off the first couple inches of the brittle stuff. It's quite a pain when, when you get halfway through a fly and your, one of your hurls breaks which happened to me a couple times already tonight. So I'll just go ahead and lock this back up here. I'm going to take this back about two thirds. It's where we're going to put the, the middle of the body partridge hackle on it. So I'll just put a half hitch right there and hold that. Now you could spin this as a rope or just wrap it around both of them at the same time one wrap right in front of the other. Now for the back, that's what I usually do right here. Keeps it a little more uniform. You don't clump up on you and you don't need it all that bulky here in the back. So watch the point of your hook. These things will break if you if you nick it. So take it up here to where you part your thread. Just a couple wraps on the back to lock this in. Go ahead and snip this off and hold on to these peacock curls. We'll use them again in just a second. So get that locked in right there. Now, it's a partridge hackle, natural or, or, or anything you want or done colored. This is a, a natural, looks almost a done on it. So take the end, cut out your V, lay it on the side. You could wrap it around and push it down as a throat. And I've done a few like that. I think it's a little bit easier like this though. So one trick, bring it a little bit closer to me and the first wrap, hold it tight. The first wrap will likely spin some of those around. So kind of a loose wrap, not necessarily a pinch wrap, loose, medium. And then this, this second one, because you, you want, ultimately you want these to be legs on the side of the fly. So put that back up and let it spin just a little bit right there okay before we lock it in take a look at it nope I I think I wanna redo that so preen these back out and lay it on there again just take your time get it right Okay, so kind of a pinch wrap right there. Still holding the feather tight in my hand. Now I'll take the second wrap around. Okay, I like that. I got them both on the sides, just, just a little bit of adjusting right here. That front one, pull it down a little bit. Okay. Now we can go ahead and lock this in. Snip off the butt end of this partridge. Now, bury that a little bit more. Now, pick up those peacock curl you had just a second ago. Catch that in. You can use one or you can use both of them. I'm going to use both of them here. Let's see. Just to give it a little bit bulkier of a, a thorax. So, okay. Oh. 
Now I think it looks a little bit better if you do this first wrap up front a little bit over these these partridge fibers. Just hide your wraps a little bit and then just bring it on up. Three or four wraps is probably all you're going to need to get you back up behind your bead. A couple of wraps to lock it. Snip this off and you can go directly into your wet finish. Don't even need to do any more securing wraps. We'll use the wet finish for that. So probably a four turn right there is going to be fine. Snip your thread and there you have it. Peacock Creeper. Great little pattern. Easy to tie literally when you're not trying to do a video and talking about it every step. You can knock these out in just three minutes or so. Knock a bunch of these out in an hour. Anyway, that's all. Very effective fly. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.